stars. I was at a par where I met today, only 22 rooms, just a shack, really. My dear, everyone is here tonight, and such excitement, nobody knows where they're at. And of course, wherever you turn, all you hear is sound, sound. One has to be very careful in one insults these days. They may be the very ones to survive. Things are pretty well topsy-turvy, aren't they? Oh, I should say so. What do you think I just heard? You know that tremendous spectacle the Schlepkin brothers are putting on the old mate? Well, Mr. Schlepkin, the oldest of the twelve brothers, the real brains of the business, he has a cloakroom privilege in all West Coast theaters. He told me that they've stopped work on the picture and they're scrapping the entire thing. They're not going to be making anything but talkies from now on. Big people, the Schlepkins. I'd like to meet them. Are they all here tonight? Oh, yes, all 12 of them. That shows you what they think of the talkies. They usually keep two with their mother. She lives in Brooklyn, and they fly back and forth. Rather a nice thought. Why, their airplane bill alone is $10,000 a month. <laughs> 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 Mr. Glogauer must be coming. Is that for Mr. Glogauer? Yes, Miss Hobart. His car just threw up. They always give him an escort so he can make it through the lobby. If he says yes to our little proposition, we can turn this into a celebration. It's marvelous you were able to get him to come. Oh, they'll all be running now, even the big ones. Besides, Glogauer is scared stiff. He's the man who first turned down the microphone. Oh, I told you. Oh, yes. So that's the story. And of course, he's never admitted to it. And no one ever dares mention it to him. Well, I wouldn't think so. Well, what did he turn it down for? Oh, he just didn't know, Doctor, what it was going to amount to. He didn't have enough vision. Oh, oh, oh not now, dear. Later, maybe. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Oh. Somebody wanted to see the Doctor. What? Oh, 